Now let's look and see how we can develop this greatest common divisor algorithm within MATLAB as code. For good practice, we'll start by adding a header at top, which just gives us the author's name and the purpose for the code. Then we're going to have two inputs, one for A and one for B, to allow the user of the code to be able to type in different values and allow us to be more flexible. What you'll see as you get along further within MATLAB, you'll actually turn this more into a function and not use these inputs. But for right now, they serve our purpose very well. Then, we start with our while loop here. And it's going to say while A does not equal zero, and this double ampersand sign here, if that's if you've not known what that symbol's name is, uh, means and and b does not equal zero. So let me say that quickly. While a doesn't equal zero and b doesn't equal zero, do this until it doesn't, until it does. And when we have that, we're gonna run this if statement, which says if a is greater than b, then assign a equal to a minus b, else take b, and assign it to b minus a. And so we run that through just like we did earlier. Once we have a or b equaling zero, it's allowed to exit this loop, this while loop. And what we're going to do is we're going to take gcd, or my greatest common divisor, and set it equal to a plus b. Since one of those two are zero, we're going to get what the value is of our greatest common divisor. Now, to get that out, I will see it up here in the workspace, but I will see something kind of fancy, which is this fprintf, which is we're going to display this string right here. I then tell it to go look for a decimal value, which is relational to this variable, and push enter. I'll show you what that is in a sec. When I click run, it's going to ask me what is my value for a. I'm going to set it to 45. What is my value to, for b? I'm going to set to 15. Very obviously, since 15 goes into 45, I should find out that my greatest common divisor is 15. And what this fprint did was it came back with the greatest common divisor is, the greatest common divisor is, we're looking for a decimal value of this variable, the next variable lined up, right? So I went and found 15 there. And then this little dash n, all it does is push enter. And so after the 15, my little arrows to add code go to the next line. So to check this real quick with our last one, we'll run the same numbers. So I'm going to select run. And in our last example, a was 261 and b was 667. And we should get 29 we get the greatest common divisor is 29. That's wonderful. We also see it up here in the workspace. Give that a try, and hopefully it works out for you very well. If not, come back to the video and see what's different between your code and what you see in front of you here.